Hey Omar, you've uh, you've been around long enough to, to see a lot of uh, clubhouses, and particularly before games, you used to see guys, teammates playing cards, reading the paper, reading their fan mail, that sort of thing. Now when we look around, we see guys uh, checking their email, texting, playing video games, that sort of thing. Talk about how, how things have changed over the years since you've been Well, uh, you know, this is the, the advance of the technology. Uh, you know, everybody seems to have uh, their own device to, uh, you know, to have fun. Uh, their computers, we got wi Wi-Fi, and we have all these kind of things that you can connect to the Internet and mm -hmm. open it up to the world. Uh -huh. You know, in a way, it's good because uh, your knowledge, you start picking it up a lot more. Mm -hmm. You start knowing about a lot of... Uh, uh, you know, use, useful information uh -huh. sometimes that uh, can help you uh, when you take the field. Like if you want to find out about a player on another team, uh, how is his condition, how his leg, his leg or his arm, uh, you, uh -huh. you know, you're aware of what's going on. Before we didn't have that information. Oh, okay. You know, but not everybody's like that. All the guys uh, concentrate on their video games. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, most of the, the pitchers are like that. Yeah. They like more uh, the video games and stuff. But uh, yeah, before uh, we used to play cards, mm -hmm. tell jokes, uh -huh. uh, talk about each other, yeah. <laughs> and uh, make fun of each other's uh -huh. clothes and stuff. But uh -huh. you know, right now there is a lot of different ways to relax at the clubhouse. So there's not as much uh, joking around and, and teasing as there used to be. In your yeah, opinion. I think everybody uh, kind of like is concentrating more in the old little world uh -huh. and uh, you know how to go about your business. Uh -huh. And sometimes I think it take away from your focus of the game. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, we have to really be careful how long we, we stay on the videos and in the computer because sometimes there is like 20 minutes before the game and I see guys still, you know, looking mm -hmm. at, at stuff in the internet, which is kind of bad. You know, yeah. that's, that's one of the things that I'm not agree with it. Mm -hmm. We have to really uh, uh, kind of like limit the time for these kind of devices. Mm -hmm and uh, you know, try to uh, play the game the right way. You've, you've seen it all over, over the long period of time in your career, right? Well, I think that I've seen it all, <laughs> you know, but right now uh, uh, you don't know what, uh, what you can see. It doesn't matter how long you stay on this game, you always see something new. Uh -huh. And I'm still waiting for the time where you take your cell phones out on the field, you have like a little, you know, <laughs> yeah, earpiece device. and uh -huh. you can talk. Uh, uh -huh. You know, I, I think it's going to be crazy like in about three or four years down the road where, you know, things are going to be so small that you, you're you not going to detect anything. Oh, interesting. Thanks for your perspective. I appreciate it. In the locker room before games, you know, used to be uh, guys would be playing cards, checking their uh, fan mail or talking to one another. Now guys are texting and playing video games and, and, and doing that sort of thing. It's, it's really changed since when you played. Well, when I played, people was puking before the game. <laughs> Yeah. Puking before the game. Uh -huh. um, oh, you know, my, this thing changed a lot. I think I remember before the game, we don't have food in the clubhouse. We had to send somebody to the stand to get some cheeseburger for breakfast. Now they have chef, food, beautiful locker rooms, mm -hmm. uh, very nice TVs, sound system. They got a lot of good things. They got an iPad, iPhones, yeah. games, thing. But, you know, that's they show you how. The evolution mm -hmm. in, 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 in these warriors, mm -hmm. the, the evolution about baseball, the evolution about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Before we know how that, and mm -hmm. I think it's more comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, before we only two, three media members. Now we have thirty right. connecting with everything. Mm -hmm. Whatever I say here, two seconds later is in the air. You know what I mean? Yeah. Before you gotta go upstairs, send an email, send it whatever, uh -huh. write, type around, send it. You know this thing changed a lot, and, uh, and I gotta be better and better every day. Mm -hmm. yeah, Omar was saying it's, it's good in terms of players being up to date on injuries of other of opposing players and that kind of thing. But he said it, it can be also too consuming when guys spend too much time right up until game time playing video games or, or doing something like that on their computers. Well, you know, it, I, I only, the look they do the work before the game, they mm -hmm. can, because it's a lot of time to kill mm -hmm. between between batting practice and game time, it's about an hour and a, hour and a half. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, I think some people prepare different. Mm -hmm. And I bet you Juan Pierce not playing video games. Mm -hmm. I bet you uh, Paul Conecco not playing video games. You know, maybe a lot of people, most of the guys play video games, the pitchers, they know how to yeah. do anything for maybe the six, seven in, and the guys at least pitch, the starting pitching, nobody play video games. Right. You know, I mean, just, uh, there's a lot of people, different people uh, prepare their the games. Right. Okay.